welcome back NYC fragrance family got another review for you now for those of you that usually look for those bargain basement cheap under a hundred dollars under fifty dollars fragrances that I usually recommend you know from time to time I got to do niche stuff and you know niche brands I have associations with and I have become friendly with over the years that I've been doing this so there is a connection with that and sometimes here and there I do get a fragrance and when I do get one that I need to talk about I'll talk about it but my thing is this if you're a person that can't spend that niche price you know can't afford the niche price tag isn't looking to spend over two hundred dollars on a fragrance this is not the video for you I appreciate you stopping by but I suggest you watch another one of my videos now for those of you that are niche hounds niche snobs niche lovers that price is no object you, so long as you get a fragrance that smells awesome and makes you feel good wearing it then stay tuned the fragrance I got for you today is definitely without a doubt a special fragrance so the brand of Roja Dove was kind enough to bless me with one of their latest creations and this one let me tell you again I'm at the end of the summertime here but it's something that has to be talked about because there's so many notes in this fragrance that albeit it is citrus forward is still a fragrance that I think you can wear even in the fall and maybe I might even give it a shot in the winter because the dry down has some qualities in it that I feel can be used and have a lot of versatility from the House of Rosa Dove Burlington 1819 comes with that crystal cap that nice metal plate on there pure elegance the Roja the Roja signature of quality beautiful sprayer oh. so this is one of those fragrances that I just felt bad doing what I just did wasting those two sprays this is a fragrance that I'm personally going to be wearing on special occasions. This is not something that I'm going to daily drive. It's not something that I'm going to wear casually. To me, this is an elegant, upscale fragrance. The fragrance price is at 295 pounds, which translates to 400 US dollars. That is pretty pricey if you ask me. Now, in the niche world, that's not very uncommon. For what you get, Roja quality, Roja performance, Roja how can I put it eloquence the artistry that goes into Roja if you're a fan of the house you know what I'm talking about citrus forward up front beautiful beautiful citrus opening bright punchy natural like photorealistic the mint comes in and gives it a little bit of clean sharpness it's got some patchouli in the dry down. It's got some woods in the dry down. There's some tobacco lurking around back there. I mean, this fragrance just transforms from a beautiful citrus opening to this elegant upscale fragrance. Like I said, suit and tie, tuxedo, night out, going to a prime event, a black black tie black tie affair. That's the kind of fragrance that this is, and it deserves to be worn on those occasions. That's my personal opinion. Price point is high. I give it that. Longevity on the fragrance, your whole event, you'll be smelling great. It's going to go through the, you know, from the beginning of the night to the end of the night, this fragrance is going to work and it's going to stay with you. You know, the name Burlington 1819, well, 1819 was when the Burlington Arcade in London opened up. And why are we celebrating using this name? per se well the flagship Roja Parfum store is in the Burlington Arcade in London and this fragrance was made to celebrate five years at that location and with good reason perfect choice for the name and it is definitely like I said a celebratory type fragrance you know there's so many notes listed in this fragrance you know the complexity that goes into Roja's creations always has many many notes listed Kind of like those classic 80s, 90s fragrances, except Roja finds a way to make them 
modern, to make them classic, to make them elegant. They're not feeling harsh like some of those 80s powerhouse fragrances are with all those notes. He finds a way to make them blend together and just work together perfectly. And, you know, I haven't had the fortune of meeting Roja yet. I'm hoping I get to do that. I know he's in Bergdorf here in the city a lot. I know with the pandemic, things have been a little dicey. But I'm hoping the next time he's in town, I have an opportunity to go see him and meet him in person. I hear he's a great person to meet face-to-face, -face, real nice, hospitable, friendly type person. And I'd like to get to talk to him in person, discuss his fragrances a little bit further. I know I'm going on and on and on. Anyway, so, for your niche lovers, like I said, if you can afford the price tag right now, it's sold out. I mean, you might be able to find it somewhere else, but on the Roja site, it's sold out. I'm pretty sure it's going to get restocked. I don't think he's going to discontinue the fragrance, but at the moment, it is sold out. New viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrance Family. And my NYC Fragrance Family, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate everything you do. This video may not have been as value-centric for you, but I'm bringing you a fragrance that if you had to buy that one fragrance that was really expensive to stand apart from everybody else, not have a Creed Aventus, not have a Black Phantom, not have a Baccarat Rouge 540, but to have something that nobody else has, this might be the one for you. Again, it's entirely your decision. So remember, till the next time, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.